Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And the patch notes for the new 1.26 update just went live here in Modern Warfare. Now, we're going to be going over everything that changed within the new Season 5 Reloaded update. Now, with all that being said, the like goal on this video is going to be 350 likes. If you guys want to stay up to date with any and all updates, best class setups, best settings, tips and tricks, or want to see any more gameplay breakdowns where I break down and analyze my gameplay or potentially break down and analyze your gameplay to help you guys improve, make sure you guys absolutely smash the button the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. Now, with all that being said, let's get right into going over everything that changed within this new 1.26 update. And also, let me know down in the comment section right now your opinions on this update and if this was a good and positive direction for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So you guys can see here, Infinity Wars releasing the latest patch update for Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Now we're gonna be getting a new LMG and also a Games of Summer event that's gonna be beginning on August 28th. Now the new LMG is gonna be pretty much the Finn LMG and you can actually transform this weapon into the Chainsaw, which is a light machine gun that we saw within Call of Duty Ghost. So that's pretty cool. Now, the update is going to be 10.6 gigabytes on PS4. It's going to be 14.09 gigabytes on the Xbox. It's going to be 11.3 gigabytes for free to play players on the PC. And it's going to be 17.6 gigabytes for premium players on the PC. So, if you guys have slow internet, plan accordingly. Now, for Modern Warfare, the playlists are going to be Ground War, Ground War Reinforced with 32 players. Blueprint Gunfight, Shoot the Ship, and also Face Off for Dance Stadium 2v2. And for Warzone, we're going to be getting BR Solos, BR Duos, BR Trios, BR Quads, Plunder Quads, as well as King Slayer Trios. Now, we're going to be going over all the general fixes that happen within this update. Ground War. You can now spawn on APCs even while they are in combat, just as long as the vehicle isn't low on health. You can also now inspect your weapon during infill sequences. Uh, fixed for a bug where players could see the tracker footprints on the ground after respawning, even when you don't have the perk equipped. Actually, was running into that issue, so I'm kind of happy they fixed that. Fixed for an issue where the ride shield could appear sideways in the preview screen. Also fixed a bug where the ride shield could appear crooked in the squad walk. Fixed a bug where using flaming throwing knives would not reset dead silence. Uh, season 5 Week Challenge 1 reads, Call in Precision UAV Killstreak, uh, Personal UAV Killstreak 7 times, should be written, written as Personal Radar. Uh, the Week 1 Challenges reads, Play 3 matches with Riot and your Coalition Operator using, and instead of as... Okay, they didn't finish that. They goofed. Uh, fix for an issue where the scoreboard would reflect inaccurate information when going from multiplayer match to a row zone match. Fixed a bug where some users were unable to unblock players. Fixed a bug where the world eater calling card would appear animated even though it should be a static image. Oh, come on. Should have left that alone. Fix for an issue where practic... Uh, uh, partially uh, watching the kill camp and skipping it can sometimes result in reduced spawn time. A uh, various fix to help the Tamagotchi Turbo Watch function as intended. Fix an issue where the stopping power round field upgrade could become unlimited after using two of the same weapon. Okay, that was very good that they went ahead and fixed that. Really happy they did that. Now we're going to be going over to the weapon balancing. Adjust the weapon stat graphs to better match fire rate uh, of of post-launch weapons bound. Okay, let me go ahead and reread. That was kind of weird. Adjust the weapon stat graphs to better match fire rate of fire to... I can't even speak. <laughs> Adjusted weapon stat graphs to better match rate of fire and post-launch weapon balancing. Okay, so then go ahead and adjust the stats of the weapon in game that they were going ahead and tweaking. Okay. Uh, fix for a bug where tracers could lose their impact VFX when ammunition is changed from the default 5.56 NATO ammunition for the M4. Uh, sniper, thermoscope, lower optic resolution, and reduced thermal range. So they nerfed the sniper rifles with the thermal sight. And adding HEI, high explosive incendiary, labeled to cosmetic dismember dismemberment ammo types. 
So we're gonna be we're not really gonna be seeing any weapon buffs in tuning, which is kind of unfortunate. Just kind of bug fixes. Now we're going over to the war zone. Fixed for an issue where the gas mask could become invulnerable. Fixed a bug where the yellow highlighting of your name in the squad widget was missing from BR buyback. Fixed for a bug where the parachute would uh, could open randomly when jumping over certain areas of the map. In BR quads, the player's mini map icon had both the down icon arrow when the player started the most wanted contract. This has been fixed. Fixed a bug where the loot drop from squad mate who died in the gulag would be available for other squad members to pick up if they could enter the same gulag. Fixed a bug where players will observe no ping audio from a spectator creating world pings. Various fixes for issues with self revive. Players may see no UI for a self-revive after buying it in a kiosk, then see the self-revive use UI right before player dies when down but too late to be able to revive themselves. Players may see no UI for self-revive and, and when down they're able to use a self-revive and players may be, able, may be unable to buy a self-revive at a kiosk station stating the player already has this item despite not having one in their inventory. So they went ahead and kind of fixed everything you know within warzone uh fixed a bug where barrels with integrated suppressors were still available for the call of duty league and pc improved stability and performance fixed an issue that caused screen resolution to be higher than native resolution at 100 render resolution when in full screen borderless mode fixed an issue that could lock fov to 60 after playing ground war so these are all the updates that are going live within the season five reloaded honestly I really wish they went ahead and did some more weapon tuning. Like, where is the ammo buff to the Scar, the ammo buff to the Odin, you know, stuff like that. I really wish they went to go. They would go ahead and add into this game, but you know, unfortunately, we have not seen that yet here in Modern Warfare. Let me know down in the comment section right now what you guys think of these patch notes. Honestly, I'm a tad bit disappointed, but at the same time, you know, what is it, nine, ten months into the game. Really can't expect much. Everybody's hyped up for Black Ops Cold War. I know I am. And let me know what you guys think about that game as well. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys absolutely smash up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on those post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces. If you made it this far into the video, odds are you enjoy the content or you are a very loyal subscriber and I cannot thank you guys enough for your everlasting support. If you guys are unaware, every single night at 11.45 p.m. Central Time and also every single morning at 11.15 a.m. Central Time, I am live streaming over on Twitch. On Twitch, I'm playing Modern Warfare with viewers, subscribers, anybody who wants to go ahead, interact with me, or run a couple games of Modern Warfare. You can go ahead and find my Twitch channel by searching in twitch.tv slash earsxbl in the Google search bar, or going on Twitch and typing in earsxbl. My channel is going to be the first thing that pops up. Make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a follow. We are on the road to 8,000 followers, as well as if you guys have Twitch Prime and want to hook your boy up, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys do actually subscribe to the channel with Twitch Prime, or actually use a tier one sub make sure you guys let me know over on twitter my link is gonna be down in the description below tweet me a picture and i'll make sure to follow you guys back and give you guys a personalized thank you appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the videos you guys are absolutely amazing and i hope to see as many of you guys over on the twitch streams as possible with all being said i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video deuces